Eldor for to have a chance to win in the last 40 laps. Larson's racing hard. You saw Ryan Newman trying to get around Blaney. Landers under the wall. Landers is around. Landers sideways contact is made. And they pile up. The yellow flag comes out. Ty Dillon's backwards against the outside wall. Landers got really sideways to start that, and Dillon got the worst of it into the outside right, no wall. Problem, no problem. Leaders just going into one. Huge points implications for Ty Dillon. You talked man. about the fact that he's a, a dirt racer. Felt like he could gain some points. Now he's into the wall. Look how tore up Jared Landers' truck is. Not a lot left on the front. You see the bumper bar sticking out of the number six. I think the NASCAR officials will have to bring him to pit road to tear the bumper bar out of that thing. We talked about tick, tick, tick. Things get tougher and tougher. This Watch was, what happens. Yeah, this is building up to what just happened. Almost a lap advanced of what took place. Joey Coulter, the 18 truck, racing hard with Landers in the six. Landers right up against the wall, got loose, and then the three gets caught up as well as the 98. Mm, yeah, no issue with the 18 of Joey Coulter. Joey was racing him tough, scrubbing on him, rubbing on him, but when, uh, when he exited turn two there, he get, hits the dip and turns around sideways. Look at all those guys trying to figure out which way to go. Jeb Burton got a piece of that with a four truck as well. From Ty Dillon's on board. Watch Landers bounce and then spin. Six in the wall, stay in it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. He's right on you. Shit, he turned us. Hold on, door, hold on, door, hold on. Tough break for Ty Dillon. As well as Johnny Sauter. And Jared Landers. And Jared Landers. You see the damage to the front of that truck. Once again, in a live situation, apologize for the language. Spotters talking to their drivers and communicating to the team what's taking place on the track. I think Landers is trying to figure out how to get that sheet, <laughs> that nose composite tore off his truck without pitting. Saw him scrubbing the wall a second ago. 33 laps remain in the Mud Summer Classic from Eldora Speedway. Stay with us. Welcome back under the lights at Eldora Speedway for the Mud Summer Classic. It's 31 laps remaining. The reason why we are under caution. Jared Landers in the six, sideways off a of two, contact with the 98 as well as the three. And the four. Yeah. Jeff a of, got, a, got a lot of that. A lot of damage to the front of that truck. And we also saw Dakota Armstrong get a piece of that. That was a big crash. The 98 nowhere to go. He gets collected in this one. Bob. Tough break for the guy running fifth in points. Johnny Sauter was battling to get back into the top ten here. Major damage to the front end of that machine. They took the baseball bats trying to beat that hood down. But the problem is it's leaking water right now. His crew chief, Jesse Saunders, for this race said the top of the radiator is partially ripped off. So right now they're trying to figure out whether they're going to stay out there and run as many laps as they can or not. Ray Dunlap. Well, Bob, on both rounds of pit stops, Dave Blaney had complained about being really, really tight. Remember, on the first stop, he was a six or a seven. Well, Chad Kendrick has raised the track bar a couple of rounds each time and made a shock change. Well, on this last restart, Blaney said he was way, way too loose, but he really thinks they're right on that perfect edge. He says, in the long run, if we can get a 20 or 25 lap run here, I may have the best truck. We saw Dave Blaney get loose coming off of two, slam into the wall. Yeah, he's really loose. I'm surprised he's that confident with as sideways as he's been. But we've seen Kyle Larson be really sideways and making ground. So earlier we talked about grandpa style, just sort of easing around. That's out the wind, isn't it? Absolutely. With inside of 30 laps to go, we're going to go one more lap here. Ryan Newman now in the catbird seat on the outside of the second row. Yeah, and you know, the last time that he was up there, he was able to get his way around Kyle Larson, and Kyle had to battle with him for 10 or 15 laps. That gave Austin Dillon a whole lot of breathing room. Before the caution came out, here's a Ooh. hard hit by Ron Hornaday. He actually has to take that truck behind the wall. Yeah, I'd say all the right front suspension's knocked off of that baby. They've been